All right, we're back with Bikini Girl in the Bodybuilding World, and this is a, another Thursday check-in day. So uh, this past week was pretty even keel as far as staying home, doing what I had to do, uh, working, working out, nothing crazy, didn't do any traveling, no holiday, and my weight was still up. <laughs> so, oh, it's so frustrating to see that on the scale, but when I look at my photos, I'm like, oh my gosh, my glutes look so much better. So again, same thing as we talked about last week, the mental struggle is difficult. Um, but when I sent all my stuff in today uh, for my check-in, my coach was really, really happy with the glute progress that she saw. So with that, I, you know, I kind of told her, I said, listen, I kind of feel like I'm force feeding myself sometimes. Um, so she brought the carbs down just a little bit for me. Uh, hopefully that'll help me maybe come a little bit tighter, but mostly what I feel like is I'm having an issue with is digestive problems. So um, last night was horrendous as far as sleep was concerned. Um, I had a, uh, just a regular burger last night before I went to bed and it was just the meat and the bun, that's it. And it messed my stomach up so bad I couldn't sleep. Um, so it was like three o'clock in the morning and I was still wide awake just staring at the ceiling. So I took an edible so that I could pass out finally. And man, that thing hit me hard and didn't wear off until about noon today. So I was still groggy when I was taking my, my progress photos and things. And I was like, I'm glad I got the sleep in, but man, it just, it just knocked me out. I don't like doing that to that extent. Um, I do, uh, use like THC in order to get better sleep, but I feel like edibles hit me really, really hard in comparison to everything else. So I only do those when I'm in desperate need, which I was in desperate need last night. <laughs> Um, so it did its trick as far as helping me get to sleep, but my whole day today has been really off. So I don't like doing that, um, to that extent. Most of the time I'll, I'll only do it when I have to, um, I sleep in general this past week was a little bit better. Uh, it's still not great, uh, but it was a little bit better. Um, my strength in the gym is ridiculous. Like I've never had such huge strength gains. There were specifically three workouts where I remember put what I, what I typically do when I start my, my exercises is I start at the highest weight that I was at my last time I did that workout. And then I build from there. If I can put more weight on, I do. So that way every week I feel like I'm progressing in my lifts. And I started with those weights this, this past week. And I had to second double check myself because it felt light. I was like, what, what, like, is this the same weight I was lifting last time? My strength gains this week were crazy. They were so crazy. So, um, I'm hoping that continues because I feel like that is something that is leading to why my body composition is looking better. Um, I go back and I take what I look like now at this weight and I look at what I looked like at this weight in the past and it is a huge difference. So that's what always keeps me you know, kind of grounded and level headed. And again, with my check-in today, Jamie was really happy with how I'm looking. So, you know, the number on the scale is one thing, how your body composition is put together is something completely different. Uh, I will see her in person at the Olympia this coming week. So at that point we can really determine if I'm in a good spot or if I need to pull back a little bit or whatever I need to do. So we're keeping the cardio and training the same, um, just pulled back a little bit on the carbs because again, some of that goes to hunger as well. I'm not hungry and I feel like I am force feeding myself uh, sometimes. So that's an indicator to me that I can pull back just a little bit, don't have to eat quite as much. Um, because again, going back to this concept of I don't want to get way out of condition so that when I go to diet, it's that much harder, right? Um, but in general, I feel really good about how I look. Uh, specifically when I move through like my transitions into my back pose and out of my back pose, I'm a whole lot more solid. So that's what I need. And it's, it's a hard, like we talked about last week, it's a hard mental gap to bridge, but I'm, I'm bridging it as long as my body's tight and I'm getting harder and I'm getting fuller and denser and things like that, then I'm good. I'm good. So this coming week is Olympia. So I'm super excited about that. I head out to Vegas on Wednesday, hoping I can get some decent training in. They've got a bunch of really great gyms out there. I used to live in Vegas, um, but I haven't lived out there for 15 years at this point. So it looks completely different than when I actually lived there. So I'm looking forward to getting back out there. I haven't actually been to Vegas in like three years because I used to go for the Olympia every year, but then it moved to Orlando over the last two. So um, it'll be nice to get back out there for a change. 
Um, I'm really looking forward to having some time with the, with a lot of our cuties that are going. We do what's called the Pro Performer Promise, where uh, if a girl works with me and wins her IFBB Pro card in my suit, she then gets um, rewarded with a sponsorship for the lifetime of her career. This is also the case if you're a pro and win your way to the Olympia. So we had Andrea Glass that did that this year as well. Um, Devin Cambry did that last year, so she's also one um, from last year. Uh, so we have both Andrea and Devin competing this at, at the Olympia, so I'm super excited to see them up on that stage too. Um, in general, this coming weekend is, is the last really the last show of the year uh, for bikini. Uh, I'm curious to see how that goes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my prediction so far, but once this last show happens, then we'll be able to predict uh, the remainder of my Olympia picks for you guys. Um, and then we have Christmas and New Year's and then Cuties Conquering the Stage is right around the corner. So uh, let me know here in the comments some of the other things that you would like to see maybe going into Cuties Conquering the Stage. Um, I'm definitely going to get as much footage as I can from the Olympia next week. That is a big plan for me um, so that I can share all of that with you guys as well. And, uh, and we'll roll into the new year. I can't believe that 2022 is almost over with. This year has been so odd. I don't know if you guys feel this way or not, but it, it just feels so weird because Olympia is so late. Olympia is typically in September during my birthday weekend. So it's a great way for me to celebrate my birthday and all of that. Um, you know, even last year, I think it was, it was October last year. So, you know, it's, it's never, it's never this late and it just is, it's, it doesn't give us any downtime at all. <laughs> so we're like bang, 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 bang. So you know, in the process of that, I'm also releasing a new fitness line. So I've got that put together. That's going to be actually released very, very soon. So I did put out a preview of that today as well. I uh, got photos, stock photos done for that and everything too. So I'm excited about that. And when it comes to the fitness wear, this is another area where I need your input because we were doing very, very limited releases. I want to know what you like and what you don't. I chose my favorite pieces that, um, that I specifically liked, and that's what I'm releasing first. Um, but then I need to hear feedback from you and know what you like and what you want to see more of. So that way I can build from there. So we're doing small little launches. Um, I expect they'll go pretty fast because it's very, very limited inventory. So whoever gets it, gets it, and that's it. That's all we got. Um, but they're all custom and I'm really excited. I hope you guys like them. Um, and then we've got lots of fun stuff coming up that we're going to launch in the new year too. So be paying attention to that too. Um, I think that's all I got for this week. I will add more on throughout this weekend. If there's other stuff that I think that pops up that we need to talk about, but otherwise this will be our real quick vlog for this week. And, uh, we'll head into Olympia, Olympia week. Whew, Olympia's here. Finally. Finally, Olympia's here. Oh my goodness. Let's go have some fun. I also wanted to highlight Yolanda Brown, who did phenomenal at Battle of Texas in the NPC show. They had 777 competitors in this whole show, so it was huge, and she was there all day and all night. And she had her uh, stage mom there, too, Brandy, who we just featured last week, who won the overall at NPC Nationals. So these two are besties, and I wanted to show you a little bit of what we did going into the weekend and how we prepared her. Now, you'll see here there's a video, well, it was supposed to be a video, of Jasmine touching up her posing. Jasmine is Yolanda's coach, and they actually met at Cuties Conquering Stage this past year, and that's when Yolanda got taken onto Jasmine's team. I tried to save this video and it didn't work, so that's why you have a screenshot here. But we all uh, kind of pitched in and helped her the day of the show, uh, leading into the show so that she would bring her best package ever. And it worked. She ended up walking away with two wins, two class wins, the novice overall win, um, and came very, very close to winning the open overall as well. So take a look at some of the clips from that weekend and listen to what we had to say. That. Um kind of exactly what you just said but also I feel like when it comes to the show time like everything will turn on and click more versus right now where it's like oh well I need to fix you're good um if you want to put more padding in you can 
uh, but you don't necessarily have to. I think that you're pretty well balanced. Okay. Pull up tall though, so we're scrunching a little bit in that. Yeah, make sure that you're nice and tall for that waistline. Mm hmm. Good. Yeah, you were just sitting into it a little bit too much. Yeah. Good. Go ahead and transition to the back. Good. Now you're sitting a little bit off to your right side, so push a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Good. Good. That's perfect right there. And the suit bottom is sitting on you perfect right here, too. Okay. Go ahead and transition to the front. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you caught it. You caught it. <laughs> Pull up tall. Yeah, good. Good. Yep. To close out this episode, take a look at what her feedback was from the head judge. I do recommend that you go backstage and speak to the head judge after the show because you can get video like this and get exactly what the judge actually wanted you to do. So then that way there's no miscommunication between you, your coach, nothing like that. And I do 100% agree with this feedback as well. So fantastic job and we're looking forward to seeing what you can do in the future. Not a lot, two, three pounds. Like, no, I'm saying, what's next first? Uh, yeah, next? yeah, yeah, what's next? Like, uh, competing again soon? You're, you're ready for the next level. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 you're ready for the next level. So, front is great, back is really good. You can use a little bit more on that upper glute area. Um, and then, just like a pound, two pounds of, of more, nothing crazy. Don't lose those lines. Don't get too much, don't get too much on the shoulders, but you know, two pounds of quality is all you need. And you know what I mean? And just fine tune, it's awesome. Pegging first in that first class, we switched the judge, it was three, four, four, five, and then switch, switch the judge later, that's why you won the other two. I had you first in all of them. That was very close. Anyway, but it's a great job, great, great potential, very good future.